You may recall from last year's stewardship campaign that I set out to meet some people and talk to them about stewardship. And we met some very interesting characters who had some interesting things to say about stewardship. But you know, the reality is that we saw a little bit of us in each one of them. This year for our stewardship campaign, we are basing the campaign on a letter that Paul sent to Timothy. In 2 Timothy 4, 7, we read, I fought the good fight, I finished the race, I've kept the faith. And this encouragement from Paul is powerful. And so I thought it might be interesting if we called some of the people that I met last year to see if they've grown at all in their stewardship and to see what they take from this great passage that Paul writes to Timothy. So I thought maybe we'd give them a call. Let's do that. Arr, hello. Hi, this is Don Weather from Arise Church. I came to your house last year, do you remember? Oh, of course I remember, Padre. In fact, when you came over, we talked about giving a bit of uh, the booty to the good Lord to protect us. Yeah, that's right. Hey, what I want to talk about this year is there's a famous verse in the Bible where Paul is encouraging his friend Timothy to fight the good fight, to stay the course, and finish the race. What do you think that passage means? Oh, word, Padre, I love a good fight. Nick, all pirates love a good fight. Because when you're fighting, you're giving it all you got. And if you're fighting for your life, it's all the better. Well, what if your fight was for your very soul? My soul? Our soul. Well, I guess the soul is important. But to be honest with you, Padre, a good ship or a treasure chest, something that's yours that could be mine, no, that's certainly worth fighting for. Our... Okay, well then. Thank you, sir. Oh, have a good day, Padre. Back to my reading. I love Treasure Island. It's a good book. I don't think he quite gets it. Let's call another one. as many kids as I'm. Hold on one second. Shut up! Shut up! When you're raising as many kids as I am, there's nothing more important than staying the course. I mean, I'm on these kids all the time, Pastor. I'm, i got to yell at them, tell them what to do, when to dress. Sometimes i got to tell them when to potty, but it's just hard keeping up with the little angel. Be good! Oh, sorry. You know, we, we could help you with those lovely children. At Arise Church, we can teach them about good morals and treating other people well. Our Sunday school program is just one of the many things that we support to help people just like you. I think it's really good that you're staying the course, but maybe you just need some help to make sure that the course you're on is, well, is based on what God wants. God wants? Oh my goodness, I've heard of that. My sister Gladys is into that yoga and all that meditation stuff. Well, I appreciate the call, Pastor, but I really gotta go. I got, to, I got so much. I'm sorry. I, see you Sunday. Bye. Kids, shut up! Thank you for your time. Interesting. Let's try another one. Yeah, it's Bob here. Good morning, sir. My name is Don Weatherup, and I'm the pastor of Arise Church here in Pinkney. And I met you at your house last year. I was talking about stewardship. Well, this year, uh, I want to ask you about a Bible verse where Paul encourages Timothy to fight the good fight, stay the course, and finish the race. Well, what do you think of that? Finish the race. You you mean uh, win the race, right? I mean, after all, it's a competitive world out there, and uh, winning's everything. How else can a person make it if you're not out there trying to win every time? I mean, win at any cost, right? Well, actually, it's not a race that's won or lost because the race that Paul is referring to is life itself. It's not about winning, really. It's about being faithful to God while you're in the race. 
you know, you know, I can be honest with you, I don't even have time to finish the stuff I've got to do right now, let alone try to, you know, run some race that I can't never win. I, I think you're talking to the wrong guy, pal. Well, thank you for your... Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, like I got time for that. Gotta win. Got stuff to do. Check the stocks. Yeah. Shoot, I wish somebody would call me. Make me want to just sit here and bit my nose and maybe scratch. You know what I'm saying? Oh, there's somebody calling right now. <laughs> Who's this? Good morning, sir. My name is Don Weatherup, and I'm the pastor of Arise Church here in Pinckney. I don't know if you remember me, but I came to your house last year talking about stewardship. Well, this year I'm wondering what you think about when you hear the Bible verse that says, fight the good fight, stay in the course, and finishing the race. Finish the race? You mean some of that money I put in the altar plate goes for NASCAR? Well, count me and shoot. You know what? Maybe I need to do some more Bible reading because, well, the way I figure if them Bible people's into racing, that's the people I want to be hanging out with. Well, actually, no. None of our stewardship money goes to supporting NASCAR. Huh. Well, well, shoot. What else? What do you? What do you support? Well, we support all kinds of other things that are really great. We mean like cage fighting? No. Gun shows? No. Government conspiracy theories? No. Huh. Well, wait. I gotta go. Parapsychology. Hello. Yes, good morning, sir. My name is Don Weather. I'm the pastor of Arise Church in Pinkney. I don't know if you remember me, but I came to your house last year. We talked a little bit about stewardship. Well, this year I'm talking about fighting the good fight, staying the course, and finishing the race. What do you think of that? Wow. You know, i got to be honest with you. It sounds very intriguing. I mean, uh, what is the train? I mean, uh, how many people are in this race? Do you know anything about the climate or the temperature? Uh, how do the other competitors train? Uh, you know what? Do you have a map? Well, maybe I don't really need a map. I got a globe right here. Oh, maybe it's on the internet. I mean, what can you tell me? Uh, what about this race? calculate the outcome of a race with so many unknown variables. Uh, sir, I, I think you're missing the point. Well, I, I have a hard time believing I missed anything. If anything, I pride myself on my attention to detail and my ability to solve even the most complex of problems. Well, sometimes even the smartest people miss the obvious. Is that some kind of commentary on my mental faculties? No, 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 no commentary, no judgments. Thank, thank you for your time. Oh, well, have a great day. Weird people. Hello? Yes, good morning, ma'am. My name is Don Weatherup. I'm the pastor of Arise Church here in Pinkney. I don't know if you remember me, but I came to your house last year, and we had a really good chat about uh, yeah, I, I guess I do remember. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing great. Well, this year I'm talking about fighting the good fight, staying the course, and finishing the race. What do you think of that? Oh, fight the good fight, stay the course, finish the race. That is one of my favorite scriptures. Oh, uh, you don't know, based on the morning I've had, how refreshing that is to hear. Do you mind if I ask you what that word means to your everyday life? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. I mean... If you knew how many things my husband and I went without, you know, just trying to stay the course and fight the good fight, because if we weren't, you know, we'd have nicer furniture and I'd have nicer clothes and we'd have a big, beautiful home and new cars and we'd go on vacations. But I just think, you know, we're, we're staying the course that the good Lord gave for us. And as for finishing the race and keeping the faith, I'm sure that by the time we reach retirement, we will have done enough for 
for the Lord that, well, we won't finish the race. Oh, well, have a nice day, Pastor. Bye-bye. She was that close. I love contemplating the Bible. Ah! Hello? Yes, good morning, madam or sir. My name is Don Weather. I'm the pastor of Arise Church here in Pinkney. I don't know if you remember me, but I came to your house last year and we talked about stewardship. Well, this year I'm talking about fighting the good fight, force, and finishing the race. What do you think of that? Well, to be honest with you, my whole life is known to Scripture. I mean, I'm in church every Sunday. I live a life that's upright, clean, and honest. I tie the church. I'm compassionate to my fellow man. I'm the very pinnacle of the Scripture. I, I live my life running the race. Well, to be honest with you, I believe that that scripture is not just about living a clean, honest, and upright life. Even though that is important, it's really about spreading the word of Christ. It's about using the gifts that God has given you to make a difference. Unfortunately, some people believe they're running a good race of faith when, in reality, they're more like spectators who come to watch a race being run. Hmm. I don't think I'm just sitting watching the race and being run, but, well, I'll just pray on it. Okay, then. I appreciate your time. Thank you, and have a blessed day. <sighs> and I believe in the power of Jesus, and I believe in the blessings of the Lord. I believe I better answer this here phone. Good afternoon. This here is Reverend Jim. Oh, brother, brother Don, good, God bless you. It's good to hear your voice, sir. Oh, thank you. I don't know if you remember me. Apparently you do, but I came to your house last year talking about stewardship. Well, this year I'm talking about fighting the good fight, and staying the course, and finishing the race. What, what do you think of that? Oh, oh, Don, I preach that Bible verse myself. In fact, that's one of my favorite sermons on my cable access show. I call it... Put your money in the offering plate and I'll show you how to win the race to heaven. I'm sure that's an interesting sermon, but I believe that Paul was encouraging Timothy to be faithful in everything that he taught. Well, what do you think of that? Yeah, but you know, Reverend, ministering's an expensive proposition. You have to have new expensive suits. You have to travel a lot. You have to have nice jewelry, and I sure can't let my pretty wife run around in clothes that aren't the latest fashion. I mean, what would people say? Well, alrighty then. Well, hey, you have yourself a blessed day. I love that man. Hello? Hey, Don, what's going on? How you doing? I'm good. Just sitting outside, hanging out. Well, cool. Hey, I just uh, been calling some of your neighbors. Uh-huh. Talk to them about this year's stewardship campaign. Right. And this year we're talking about fighting a good fight and staying the course and finishing the race. Cool. Well, some of your neighbors, they, sort of got it, but they, they seem to miss the whole message, really. Well, what would you say to them? Do you mind if I ask you what your thoughts are on that scripture? No, not at all. I mean, um, I think it's one of my favorite favorite uh, scriptures in the Bible, you know, my understanding is that Paul's life's coming to a close, right? And he believed truly he was going to die in prison. And here's a guy, I mean, he'd been through whippings and stonings and, and beatings and shipwrecks and all these different problems, and yet he never chose to give up spreading the word of Jesus Christ. You know, he says to Timothy, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept the faith. You know, he gave... Timothy not only the charge of doing this, but I think he was passing it on to all of us. You know, I look at the new building that arises as a perfect example, Don. It's, um, uh, you know, it's it, all it is for us in our race is a new set of shoes. You know, we just happen to get a new set of shoes to continue running this long, this lifelong race ahead of us. Um, I think it's just an opportunity for us to, to spread our ministries even further and go even deeper in our race than we already are. And I know Tina agrees. In fact, you know, with the completion of the, the building, it, Tina and I kind of feel like this is the time 
that we have to give even more of our time, treasures, and talents to Jesus Christ. And that's how I feel. Great to see you. Hey, thanks for your time. Hey, no problem, man. Have a good day, Don. Talk to you later.